I don't I don't know what this is. Like what 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 happened to my hair? This look here is called Blowout Ruined by Laying Out. <sighs> Mommy, what happened to your furs? I don't know, kid. I don't know. I don't know. She likes the NYX butter gloss smells. Hi guys, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to be doing my August favorites. My lighting situation, I am sorry, I'm like messing with one of my products. I waited until after like the sun went down like an idiot. So uh, I apologize if my lighting seems a little harsh. I have a, of a fluorescent light right behind this. So that's why my hand is like glowing. Uh, if you watched my July favorites, you know that I didn't have like hardly any makeup products, which is really pretty rare for me because I do try a lot of stuff out. I do get excited by new stuff. So I definitely made up for it this month with some cool new stuff that I tried or things that I kind of rediscovered or things that moseyed back into my life. This is the Arcona Cranberry Toner. I use this day and night. It is a three-in-one cranberry milk toner that helps cleanse, tone, and hydrate effusing skin with protective antioxidants to leave it glowing and refreshed. It has cranberry extract containing vitamins, phytonutrients, and essential fatty acids that help protect and clarify skin. Vitamin E, tocopherols, and tocotrienols neutralize free radicals. Omegas 3, 6, and 9, and organic rice milk nourish and restore skin. Honestly, that seems like an awful lot of things to be in something that color, but it is true. This stuff is amazing. Um, I, I've used the Mario Badescu glycolic acid toner. I've used, you know, drugstore toners and witch hazel in the past, and they're just not good toners for me. This truly does work. It's a very hard product to actually describe, except for it goes on just really nicely and luxuriously, and it's very soothing and comforting, and like to say the word nourishing and actually legitimately mean it is absolutely true and it just I always feel better after I put it on my skin I use it again both morning and night and I love it my only real gripe with this is that you burn through it I use probably two and a half pumps morning and then two and a half pumps at night and I I mean like honestly I maybe get five weeks out of this which is why I discontinued using it in the first place because it is kind of an expensive product to have to repurchase that frequently. To quote my mother, skincare is one of the best investments you can make. So okay fine. The next thing I use, I just hauled this not too long ago but it's all like busted so I apologize. It's by Lush. Lush. It's the Buffy body exfoliating hydrating bar of happy. I don't quite know. It's essentially exfoliants in a bar of like shea butter and cocoa butter and you know good skin butters. My husband and I both use this twice a week. It's great after the sun to like just get in the shower and just slaw off all that dead skin and then hydrate the new skin. You feel really moisturized after it. You feel just like you're doing yourself a favor. I got this in IMAX. It's the model in a bottle makeup setting spray. <sighs> It is definitely a different setting spray if you are somebody who's used to Scandinavia and you're used to the Urban Decay setting sprays. This is not those sprays, uh, which for me is wonderful because I don't think they are the greatest. My skin is pretty combination oily and it's not, uh, you know, it's pretty tough to impress, I would say. I think you guys know this about me by now. but. What's nice about this is it the texture when it actually sprays onto your face is thicker. It almost feels like a gel. Uh, you have to keep your eyes closed for, I don't know, several seconds. I wouldn't say like a minute, but I definitely keep my eyes closed for probably about 10 seconds while it just kind of seals. Like spraying your face with hairspray, like you know that what you just put on there just went to work. This is the Dolce & Gabbana The Blush in Tan. It looks like this. And then the actual compact itself looks like that and then you take the brush. I keep the packaging, so keep the brush, and that's what the actual powder looks like. I have been using this for contour. Uh, I used it, actually, we, my Rachel and I did a wedding last weekend, and I used it for all over bronzer on a fairer skin tone. I love it because it, there is no red in that. It is all a tan. I really like it. I actually have it on today, blended out with the Guerlain terracotta, but I really, really, really enjoy it. It wears 
beautifully. It does not patch off at all on me. It is an investment. It's I think it was like $50 and it's like a small pan. It's just a blush pan. It's not like a full compact of bronze or anything. I would not use this liberally, put it that way. But I do really like it and I definitely think it's a color that I can't find in the vast majority of bronzers. So I was willing to try it and I've been really impressed with it. And it's definitely something that, especially for my kit, I love. And then the other thing I've been loving, actually both of these I just realized came from my birthday haul. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. Looks like that. Um, I have been obsessed with this. I use this almost every day. So many people have raved about this product and they rave about it for a reason because it changes the way the light reflects off your skin. It's much more of a general airbrushed soft light really beautiful luminosity to the skin that is not overpowering at all it is not by any means a highlighter it's not going to compete with a highlight it's not going to change the way your makeup looks it's not going to alter your blush or your bronzer or anything like that the thing that i definitely think this is excellent for is if you are somebody with mature skin if you're worried about fine lines and wrinkles any kind of a skin imperfection just buffing this over your face you don't need to use a lot but just like buffing it over your face making sure that it's covered your face um, and i've taken it down the neck and onto the shoulders has been it looks beautiful and it just makes you look glowy and happy and and i just can't put it any other way you just look really happy and healthy like you just did like the best cleanse ever that's the way I can put it. And I may be overhyping it to you, but I used it on two women over 50. I think I shaved like 10 years off of both of them with this powder. So to me, that's a pretty good deal. And now I'm really eager to get a couple other shades of this because I want to see what the different effects are. Lastly is a new snack of mine that I've been really enjoying. It's the Emerald 100 calorie packs in the cocoa roast almonds and the cinnamon roast almonds. My husband and I have gotten really into these lately. There are three flavors. There's these two, and then there's a vanilla roast. He likes the vanilla roast. I personally could never eat it again. It'd be totally fine. It's kind of ugh to me, uh, but I really, really, really love the cocoa. And then we both love the cinnamon. So the cinnamon roast almonds like totally remind me of like the holiday season, buying like the spiced nuts on the street corner like in New York or you know like holiday kiosks and stuff in the mall. These have been great because they totally help you when you have like a, a craving at night or when you have a hankering for something that you probably shouldn't eat. And they're nice because they're calorie controlled with 100 calorie packs. So yeah, so those are my August favorites and I hope you guys liked the video. Thumbs up if you did. Thank you again for all my new subscribers and until next time I'll see you later. Bye!